Hey guys, welcome to Red 5 Thank you for tuning into another video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So in today's video, I've got another sync tutorial for your Ford vehicles. In my case, my 2019 Mustang GT. Sync system is the infotainment system for your Ford vehicles. So depending on what model year you have, what model you have, it's going to depend on what version it's running. So for my case, when I shipped out, I had a Sync 3.3 and I was able to upgrade it to Sync 3.4. So in this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to update your sync system via Wi-Fi. There's a couple different methods you can do that. You can do it from the USB. You can also take it into your dealer. If your car is still under warranty, they will be able to update the software for you. But Wi-Fi, in my opinion, is probably one of the easiest way to upgrade your sync 3 system. So we'll go ahead and follow this step-by-step -step tutorial. There's a couple things you have to be careful just to make sure you don't break your sync system or mess up anything as it's updating. As I mentioned earlier that you can use your sync system to be upgraded to sync 3.4 using this method but even if you are already on sync 3.4 just like I am it's going to help you to update it for a different build version so basically think of it like an iOS you've got the 15 and the 16 but between the iOS 15 and 16 there's a lot of updates that kind of come on improving some of the bugs and adding maybe very minor features so you got 15.1, 15.1.2 15.3 and you get the idea so this is basically going to be used for that as well or if your vehicle is eligible you can upgrade from sync 3.3 to sync 3.4 so i'm going to go ahead and start the car and show you what sync version i'm on and then we'll walk you through how to upgrade your sync 3 system via the wi-fi so let's start the car here and you can see the sync 3 system is loading up All right, so now that the sync system is loaded up, we're going to find out what sync system we're currently on, and then we're going to search for the updates and update via the Wi-Fi. So you want to go into the settings right here, and then once you're in settings, you're going to scroll to the right, and you're going to come to general. Click on general, scroll down a little bit, and you want to click on about sync. This will tell you what version you're on. Tap about sync right here, and here you can see I do have sync 3, version 3.4, but the bill code is 20282. So this is basically one of those bill codes that get updated every now and then. So even though I'm on 3.4 and that's the max my Mustang can get, I can still update the bill code, which might fix some of the bugs or some of the issues that you're experiencing. So we're gonna go ahead and go hit back over here. And here you have the automatic updates. You can also set it up, but you also wanna make sure the Wi-Fi is also connected. So right now, as you can see right here, there is no Wi-Fi hooked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect my Wi-Fi right now. Tap on Wi-Fi. View available networks. This is gonna start doing the search. And you'll see the list of the uh, Wi-Fi networks. So basically I see mine here. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect it and we'll be back once it's connected. And this is your first time connecting it to the Wi-Fi. It might take a little while, but as you can see now, I do have some Wi-Fi signal here. And now we're gonna go ahead and update the Sync 3.4 version for my 2019 Mustang GT to the latest Sync system available for this specific vehicle. So here you see the automatic updates. We're gonna tap on it here. And you have a bunch of different options. It also says what the last update version is. That's when I updated the Sync 3.4 system. So that's the latest update I have as of that date. It's the 327, 2021, so March 2021 but we can also scan for updates now and see if there is a new updated version available. And you can obviously toggle in the automatic system updates so you don't have to redo this every time you want to update your Sync 3 system. It's going to do it in the background, which in my opinion is very good. So I'm going to go ahead and scan for the updates. It might take a little while, depending on how big the update is. For me, I'm just doing from 3.4 and just change the build code. So the update shouldn't be that big, but if you have an uh, older sync version, the update might take a little while if you're going from 3.2 to 3.4 or something like that. All right, so I'm going to click on the scan for updates now. And as you can see, it's loading up right now, which will take a little bit of time. So just don't mess with it. Just let it do its thing. And I'll be back once it's done searching for updates. All right, so it's done searching for the updates. And you can see there is an updated uh, software version that I can have 
and it's going to be a latest version. So it's downloading it currently, which will take a little bit of time. Like I said, depending on how fast your internet is and where your vehicle is located um, in terms of where the Wi-Fi is, it might take a little bit of time. And that's one of the things I want you to be careful. Um, if you don't have the strongest Wi-Fi, you want to make sure you can either park your car in the garage or you have a hotspot or something because you don't want to mess it up as it's doing its update because that's going to... Uh, if it stops mid-update, that's not going to be a pretty fierce sync system. So make sure you have a strong Wi-Fi connection. If you think your Wi-Fi is going to be spotty, then I suggest you try out the USB version, which I'll have a tutorial on later on as well. As far as I know, it does update in the background as well. So even if you shut off your car and you turn it back on, anytime it detects the Wi-Fi, it's going to start updating it for you. But I prefer to just kind of let it do its thing and download it while I'm still in the car, just so you're not risking anything with your sync system. As you can see, it's still installing about 75% done. And it actually has been more than an hour or so. I did turn out the vehicle, so it does do the updates in the background as well. So you don't have to worry about staying in the car and waiting for the whole update to finish. Well, guys, so the update is done now. It took about a couple hours or so. I did turn off the car. Like I said, so as long as you're within the Wi-Fi range, it's going to work in the background. You don't need to be sitting in your car waiting for the update to go in real time basically. Now, as you recall, the previous update was 3.4, but the build number was different. It was a 20282, while this one is updated. So I'm gonna show you how to check to make sure it did update fine. All right, so we are in settings now. We're gonna swipe over to general. Scroll down a little bit. Find about sync and tap on it. And here we can see I've got the Sync 3 software version 3.4, but the build here now is 21194 as opposed to the previous build. That's how you know the update went successfully and there's no issues now with the update. So that's how you pretty much upgrade to the latest and greatest Sync software available for your vehicle via the Wi-Fi method. Of course, you can do it via the USB as well, but I think the Wi-Fi is a lot easier as long as you have a stable connection. You just have to keep in mind that while the update is being done, you are in within the Wi-Fi range. If you do go drive away or something, it will resume the update after you're done or after you're back in the Wi-Fi range. But I just like to have everything finished before I, I leave just to make sure there's no issues mid-update. Because it depends on how big of an upgrade you're doing. If you're going from Sync 3 to Sync 3.4, which is a pretty big update on its own, you may run into some issues because there's a lot of installation that needs to be done. So depending on when you drive off and where it is in the installation process, it may not be good for your sync system. Some people have had issues with that. So I just like to play it safe and I advise you to do the same as well. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this sync tutorial on how to update your sync system over the Wi-Fi. I have a, I have a USB version coming as well. So if you don't have a strong Wi-Fi connection, you're not in the range with your Wi-Fi, then you can also try the USB version. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash the like button and comment below what do you think about the latest and greatest Sync 3.4 version. As always, subscribe to Red 5.0 for more videos.